Hi, so what I have here is the ASUS Hyper M.2 Express 16 card V2 version. So um, depending on what you bought this for, so if you're buying this for RAID, then it's another category. If you're buying it just to extend the additional SSD M.2 NVMEs that you have. So this particular card does support both NVMe and SSD. So I'm gonna open this up. So one of the most important is the actual size of this. You want to make sure it actually fits in your case. So let me go ahead and go through the measurements first. So the width of this, if you look at it, it is 20, I want to say 22 millimeters or 8 inches. So just to zoom in, 22 millimeters or 8 inches. Now the height beyond the heat sink here, so on the very edge, it's about 15 or you could see for yourself 12 to 15 millimeters or four point maybe two inches and the depth or the width is about that so it's about the size of the uh, angle bracket which is about half an inch so let, let me let me just go go by that too so you could see exactly whether that fits on your case along with your GPU. So uh, that's the size. Now, I did mention that it does support NVMe and normal M.2 SSDs. So that is the particular type. Now I will go through the RAID. So this particular card, expansion card, might not be for you uh, if you're using RAID. You, you might need a basically a uh, ASUS motherboard for it to be compatible. So generally, if you bought a, or you, you have a motherboard that supports Threadripper or Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7, you're okay uh, for the bootable, basically for two things, for the bootable RAID, because on the motherboard itself, as long as you support the bootable RAID on the PC, uh, PCI Express. So if you have basically, I believe what it's called is uh, bifurcation support, or if you have a setting on your motherboard that says you could extend the RAID functionality to the PCI Express cards, then you're good. And that's usually on a ASUS motherboard that supports, um, you know, Threadripper, Ryzen, Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7. And I'll go through that some more in the end of this video. What I want to do is uh, remove the heatsink. So there's four screws. One, two, three, four right there. And uh, removing this particular last screw here. So this thing is very solid, solidly built. The main thing is compatibility. So if, if you're if you if you have an ASUS motherboard, uh, you're you're basically safe with the AMD cards, Threadripper, uh, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 3. Um, now, if you have an Intel motherboard that is not ASUS, and you want to do RAID, then you want to make sure that it's a processor that's post uh, you know 2010, and supports the VROC, which is Virtual RAID on CPU. So I'm going to flip this over. I unscrewed the um, what do you call it? This heat sink. <laughs> this heat sink is solid. One solid piece of material. So you'll see here it has kind of like the the heat distrib distribution, dissipation. And this is one, one completely solid piece of aluminum. Now, one other issue if you do not have, you know, your typical ASUS card or a card that supports PCI bifurcation, it will only detect one, usually one or two of the slots and not all four slots. So you want to make sure that it's compatible in that particular way. And I'll go, once again, I'll go through more of this at the end of this video. Um, so here you'll, you'll see that there's the four slots, uh, <laughs> you know, there, it doesn't come with enough screws, believe it or not, but it does support all the different sizes. So you can see all the different sizes that it, it's going to support here. As far as the M.2s, you know, the NVMEs and the SSDs. Now it does have a fan here. 
One very nice feature on the side here is that you could turn the fan on and off right here. You could turn it on or off. And it also has four LEDs to show you which, which ones are active when you're initially you know, doing the install. So which um, slots are active. Um, all right, so, so let me go ahead now. All right, one, one more, all right, just one more go around. So you could you know, take a look. And then I'll go through the special cases with the RAID and the compatibility. So holding steady here. And then this side bracket with the on and off fan switch. And then the back mount here where you could see all the screws mounting supporting all the different sizes of basically SSDs and NVMEs and up top here. So the size, make sure it fits in your motherboard and, and put this down and go through this, you know, solid, solid piece of uh, aluminum heat sink here with this heat dissipator at the top. All right, now let me go ahead and go through the compatibilities and the RAID and the VROC versus the uh, ASUS motherboard combination with this. All right, let's go ahead and do that now. So this ASUS card, expansion card here is about 40 bucks on Amazon. So this is the link I'll have in the description area that I got this from. Now you'll notice it has pretty high ratings and the people that uh, return it actually have it incompatible because they don't read what it needs to be compatible with. So you have to be a little bit careful if you want it for basically the virtual RAID on CPU with the Intel technology. So you want to make sure your CPU supports that. Now most of the Intel CPU support that after like uh, 2010. So you should be safe there if it's one of those Intel Xenon processors. Now if you don't have an Intel CPU and you have an AMD CPU, you want to make sure your motherboard supports the bootable RAID and on the PCI slots. So for example, if I go to um, this ASUS motherboard, which is the ASUS uh, B405 motherboard, you'll notice here it says create a RAID configuration with three PCI Express 3.0 devices. So so this will support the bootable RAID on this particular card. So you want to make sure, so, so I made sure to actually pair my, pair my ASUS expansion board here with an ASUS motherboard. So you kind of want to make sure of that. If, if you're not sure, you want to go to the website and research and make sure that your motherboard supports this. Otherwise, you'll end up like, um, you know, a lot of these one-star people basically returning Re returning the uh, uh, like like eight twelve percent three percent returning it now the other thing you have to be careful of is that some people report that it only supports one slot when it has four slots and again the reason for that is you know that this actually supports the bifurcation so just make sure of that too otherwise you'll end up um, you know returning this but I do want to just go through you know some of the specs here. So right here, you'll notice these are the different sizes of the M2s. So basically, it supports like all of those sizes. Um, and it doesn't just support the NVMe, it does support the SSD also. Um, and here it says it's up to 128 gigabits. Now that translates to, uh, basically for PCI Express 3.0, it translates to one gigabyte per second. So that, that should be, uh, you know, pretty high speed. Now if you, per lane, so if you have multiple lanes, um, you know, it could support up to basically 3.5 gigabytes per second uh, for PCI Express 3.0. And if I scroll down here, once again, there's there's the RAID, on, virtual RAID on CPU. And it says here that it supports that on the Ryzen Threadripper. And you'll notice here, as I showed before, there's the fan. There's the switch where you could 
switch off the fan, and then the four LED lights. And the bandwidth here is what I described before, is this is 128 gigabits per second, and it does translate to about um, you know one gigabyte per lane. And I believe that's it here. And once again, I'll have this link in the description area of the video or in the comment section. And you know, to pair it with this particular, not, not necessarily this particular board, but an Asus motherboard would be safer. You know, especially ones where it's the Ryzen 5 or the Ryzen 7, you should be pretty much all set with an Asus motherboard that supports that CPU paired with this uh, Asus Hyper M.2. Um, that's really it. That's really what I wanted to mention. And uh, if you have any questions, just ping me on the comment section. I hope this helps. And please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.